Hello friends, welcome to the BISP Solutions. My name is Abdullah Khan and today we are going to learn about the topic of creating application in FCCS. So let's begin with the same. First of all, we click on start and then we'll give an application name. Test. And then click on next. So here there are a lot of details which we need to consider for creating the application. The first of uh, which is the number of months. There are two options now in this uh, number of months tab. The first is 12 months, which is the general option. And the other one is uh, 13 months. So here uh, 13 months means one month would be for all the adjustments that have to be made, like creation of the uh, adjustment of the provisions and all. So in case we need to do such adjustments in a separate month, we can also select the option of 13 months or else we can go with the 12 months option. If we select the 13 months option, then we'll have to give the distribution like 3334 or there are various other options of the extra month that we are going to have in this 13 months. So I'll just create the application with 12 months period for understanding. Start here we can take from wherever we want to start the year in our application and uh, the end year can be also taken from here. So the end year can be changed later on, but the start year once selected cannot be changed later on. The end year can be modified uh, later on. And uh, the second option here is the first month of the fiscal year. So in different countries, uh, different uh, fiscal year is followed. So in case like in India, we follow April to March year for the fiscal year. So the first month would be April. In Australia, we follow a June to July year. So we we'll first select the June month as the first month of the fiscal year. Or else we can select any other month as well. Another option here is uh, the create HYTD members. This is the half year to date, date members. So if in case we enable this option, we can get the uh, data in a half yearly uh, time frame as well. So we can uh, get the addition of the quarter one and quarter two data as well. So basically we'll get this under the periodic dimension in our application. Then we move on to the main currency uh, option here we can select the main currency of the entity uh, on the main currency of the application uh, many currencies are given here so we can select any of it the next option is the multi-currency option so multi-currency option is generally selected in case we uh, require consolidation of various entities in different countries so that would uh, need a multi-currency to be check there is yes in case we are consolidating different entities in different countries so a parent is sitting in india but a subsidiary uh, of it uh, its subsidiary is there in uh, say us so we'll be needing the multi currency option next we have various features while uh, creating the application so there are some very important features here. First of all is the make period and movement dense. So this option will help to make the period and movement dimension inside the application as a dense dimension if we check it. Then there is the balance sheet hierarchy. So the balance sheet hierarchy is divided into three types. First of which being the traditional balance sheet approach which is uh, the normal approach with, which uh, is followed in accountancy, which is assets equals to liabilities plus equity. So this balance sheet would be prepared in that manner. The second one, uh, which some of the entities may opt for is the net assets approach, which would be assets minus liabilities approach. And third one is the basic approach, which is generally used by small sized entities. So it in this, the only difference is there 
the move under the movement in the account dimension the items are reduced like it is for small sized entities and it is customizable so in case we check the basic entities you can see the cash flow uh, the indirect cash flow option is also unchecked however in the net assets approach and in the traditional approach it is always checked so it means that in case of the basic uh, balance sheet hierarchy we can uncheck the indirect cash flow option as well and create a direct cash flow for the cash flow which we want to create customizably okay then the next one is multi gap so under multi gap uh, there are three options first of all is yes with manual adjustments so in case we check this uh, manual adjustments option so then we'll have to like load the trial balance in our local gap and do manual adjustments for the ifrs uh, in which we want to con uh, convert our uh, financials and uh, the second option is with calculated adjustments so in this case we'll upload the trial balance in the local gap as well as the ifrs so the system would automatically then make all the adjustments under this multi gap option the third one being uh, we'll not select any multi gap so in case we select this multi gap option then the custom dimensions which are provided to us by the way there are four custom dimensions which we can uh, enter so one of them gets unchecked in case we select the multi gap option the next is the cp account we will come to it later so first we'll see this consolidation journal adjustments so the journal adjustments which we can put in the application so at the consolidation level and uh, during the consolidation process so there are three options again uh, first of all is with workflow and then it's without workflow so in with workflow we will have an option of a preparer approver as well and then uh, then we will be able to submit however without workflow option we'll uh, be able to prepare and submit it without uh, being approved by any authority and then we can also in a disable this option but generally it is uh, a practice which is followed so we'll just check it then there is intercompany data so there are three options again we can track it if you want uh, in case we enable this tracking option and uh, sorry in case we enable the intercompany option then this aggregation option is also enabled so and under intercompany entities aggregation there are three types of options addition subtraction and ignore so this uh, in case we check the addition option then at the intercompany top the aggregation would be uh, in addition and uh, in case of subtraction it would be uh, in that way and in ignore we can uh, at the intercompany top it will ignore uh, the aggregation also in case we check this intercompany data the ownership management tab gets uh, enabled if we are unchecking this intercompany data then this ownership uh, management tab gets uh, blocked out so that means that in case we are selecting this intercompany then the ownership uh, management accounts are also enabled in the account dimension and uh, various other options are also enabled under the application for like FCCS drivers, et cetera. Next is the ratio calculations. So we can also check various ratios and they'll be included in the account dimension and we can uh, like see this for all the reporting purposes, management purposes. So we can also check all these ratio calculations. Then there is an option uh, include other data member. So if we check this option, we can also check it later on uh, after the application once has been created. We can also enable this feature from configuration later on. But if we check this uh, item, then there would be a separate member uh, which would be created under the data source dimension by the name of other uh, data input. And we can also input data through that uh, dimension. Uh, and uh, it would also help in like tracking of the data inputted from various sources 
such as uh, like we are if we are inputting the data manually or through csv files so we can track uh, data which are getting inputted from different sources so in case we want that we can also enable this option then all these options like contribution input translated currency parent input control to date view storage all these can be enabled later on as well uh, after once the application has been created they can be uh, created or checked from the configuration uh, and uh, can be worked upon later on so yeah so we left ct and local cap yeah so The CT option, uh, there are options to put the CT account in the balance sheet or another OCI, that is the comprehensive income. So in case we select the CT under the comprehensive income, the CI CTA gets checked. And in case we put it under the balance sheet, then the CTA balance sheet account gets checked under the local gap. And this local gap option is uh, uh, opened only if we select the multi-currency option here. In case we didn't select the multi-currency option in the details, then it wouldn't have been open or it would have been blocked out. So yeah, see, we have checked the multi-gap option. Therefore, the custom dimension, one of the custom dimension is blocked out and only three dimensions we can uh, like put. We can enter any dimension, like if we want, we can put, put the product dimension here and that would get created or any other two options we can also use for creation of further custom dimensions. Below, there's also the supplemental data collection, which would be data other than the financial data, uh, which is required for the management purposes and other reporting purposes. We can enable this option later on once we have created the application. Also, enterprise journals option is there. So we can also enable this op option later when uh, the application has been created. And these will be discussed uh, in the later videos and later part. So once I have uh, checked or unchecked all the features, which uh, as per my uh, requirements, then I can just review the application, the year period that I have selected, first month of the fiscal year and all the details that we have checked. just click on create button and the application would be created. So that's all for today. And in case you have any queries, you can get back to us on our website. Thank you.